Hello, my name is Maria Miller and I am the author of Math Mammoth Books. And this is Mathy, my mascot. In this video I want to briefly explain the main series of products that I sell on the website, the main features and the main differences between them. The light blue series is a complete curriculum, a complete math curriculum that goes by grade levels and it is my most popular product. It is a mastery-based curriculum. That means that we concentrate on one topic for a while, for a chapter, and go into that topic deeper than some spiral curricula go, and then go on to another topic. Let me show you an example of how the lessons work in the light blue curriculum. This is the student book for grade 2a. There are two books per grade level. So for grade 2 there are 2a and 2b books. And this is the printed version, so it is black and white inside. If you purchase this as a download or on a CD, then it is in full color. You can print it yourself in full color. Here's the lesson on even and odd numbers in the first part of grade 2. And you can see that it first contains the instruction and then the exercises. The instruction is right here. And you as the parent or teacher can expand this instruction and explain it. Or the student can read it himself or herself, if capable. Of course, in second grade, most second graders are probably not yet capable of reading. But as children grow in third, fourth, fifth grades, many can actually read and self-teach themselves using math mammoth materials. And then follow the exercises over here and over here, deepening the topic of even and odd numbers. Even the next topics that follow actually deepen that, because the next topic is doubling, and then the very next one is the very next one is having or one half. And both of those, of course, tie in with even and odd numbers. Now, I mentioned that this is a mastery based curriculum, and that is very true. However, it also has some light spiraling over grade levels. For example, the topic of regrouping, which means basically you're carrying and borrowing, is taught first in second grade, in the first half. It is again taught some more aspects of it in the latter half of second grade and then one more time in the first half of third grade. So that is light spiraling, some spiraling over the grades for that topic. Or the topic of fractions. There is of course the concept of a fraction taught in the very early grades. And then we have more fraction operations starting in fourth grade. In fifth grade a lot of it and then yet a review of fractions in sixth grade. If you're just getting started with Math Mammoth and want to use this complete curriculum, I would advise that you have your child or students take a placement test. Those are available for free on the website. You can purchase the Light Blue Series curriculum as a download, as I mentioned, or on a CD. The CD has the exact same files as the download. Or you can purchase it as printed copies. Now, the printed copies are black and white inside because color printing is so expensive. I want to briefly explain about the printed, printed copies. If you purchase the printed copies, then you have four books for each grade level. And that is two student books, in this case 3A and 3B. 3A and 3B. Then there is a test and cumulative reviews workbook. It contains only the tests and cumulative reviews. And then there's an answer key book. So four books per grade level if you purchase printed copies. School licensing is also available. Please see more information on the website, download samples, and see the placement tests. The Blue Series books are topical work texts. Topical meaning that they go by topics. 
ranging from first grade addition to seventh grade percent or proportions and so on. And this series of books has many books for geometry, for example, an early geometry book for grades one to three, and then another geometry one book for grades four to five about, and then geometry two book for grades six to seven. Or it has several books for fractions ranging by, ranging by levels, or several books for addition and subtraction, and so on. And let me show you some examples. These are the printed versions of the books I have here, percent and add, subtract to B. The blue series books are work texts. That simply means that it has both the text and the work in the same book. The text meaning the instruction, and then the work meaning the exercises. So there's both the instruction and the exercises for the student, all in the same book. And these books have many uses. Many of my customers use them to fill in gaps. For example, if they find, using the placement tests, that their child is lacking in some particular area, such as geometry, then they can purchase a book on geometry and fill in gaps in that, and then go on to, say, grade four in the regular light blue curriculum. Another popular usage is to supplement just about any other homeschool math curriculum that you might be using. Many of my customers do that, for example, if your main math curriculum that you like better does not explain much about measuring, then you can get one of the Blue Series books to delve better into measuring. And then Blue Series books can be used to review a certain topic. Or some people use them as their main curriculum to actually teach the topics. And they piece together the curriculum instead of grade levels by topics. And Blue Series books are again available as downloads. They are PDF files or on a CD or as printed books. The Golden Series books are worksheet collections that go by grade levels from grade 3 through Algebra 1. I'll show you one example here. This is the printed version of grade 7 worksheets. It is also the pre-algebra worksheets. These are worksheet collections and they do not contain instruction. They are best for teachers and tutors that can provide the explanations and the instruction. In fact, the whole series was designed for a tutoring center originally. And I want to show you some examples of the worksheets in this series. Each worksheet is one page so that it is easy to assign to students if you are a teacher or a tutor. And each page concentrates on one basic topic but it has varying problems about that topic. It does not only have one kind of calculations, but it also contains word problems and just looking at that concept from various angles. This one is dealing with big numbers. This one is dividing with decimals, and you can see how the problems vary. This one is about missing adding problems and subtraction. Again, Golden Series books are available as printed books, and they are black and white inside if you purchase them as printed books, or as downloads, or on a CD along with the Green Series products. The Green Series books are, again, worksheets, this time by topic. They are worksheet collections by topic. And the content for these is taken from the Golden Series worksheet collections. So they have the same content, just organized differently by topics. And the topics vary from about third grade till about seventh grade. There are collections for geometry, for example, or multiplication and division, or measuring, or integers. And because they are taken from the Golden Series, they are best used by teachers or tutors, or just for review, because they do not contain instruction. But once again, 
the worksheets contain very varied problems. They are not just plain calculation worksheets. I'll show you some examples. Here's one example on square roots. Here's an example on ratios. The green series products are available as downloads and then also on a CD along with the golden series. So there's a CD for golden and green series. Make it real learning products are not written by me but by Frank Wilson and they contain activities or activity worksheets that tie in real life and mathematics. They are great to show students where math is used in real life or to answer this age-old question, when am I ever going to use this? Let me show you some examples. Here's an activity lesson plan with two page worksheet or two worksheet pages about choosing a cell phone plan. It uses real life data from a real company and then has several questions for students to ponder. Notice it does not contain instruction on linear equations or linear functions. Instead, the students must have the instruction before using this activity. And this particular one matches about Algebra 1 level. Here's another example about college basketball, and it is exploring the topic of histograms. The topics in these activities range a lot, from construction, cooking, gardening, shopping, sports, astronomy, interest, banking, and so on and so on, health, I cannot even remember them all. The grade levels vary from about third grade all the way up to calculus. Make it real learning products are available as downloads and also on a CD, as a super bundle, all of the products on one CD. So where can you buy Math Mammoth products? I use various resellers. There are many stores selling these. For example, Kagi, Lulu, Kirklik, Rainbow Resource, Homeschool Buyers Co-op, and there may be others at other times. So please refer to the website for current information on where to buy. And these various stores have different payment methods and sell different products. Some of them sell only downloads, some of them sell only printed books, some of them sell printed books and CDs and so on. The basic copyright notice or licensing for Math Mammoth products is as follows. One person, which is named the teacher, one teacher may copy the materials to all of his or her students. There's no limitation to the number of students. There's a limitation on the number of teachers. Only one teacher is allowed to distribute and copy the materials. If there are two teachers or more that want to use the products, then school licensing is available for schools and tutoring centers and so on. 